What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, it's been about 10 days or so since uh, our last video. If you guys missed it, click on the card up above. But we got the engine installed, the new RPG built 5.2 with our Coyote heads, Coyote crank. So our Super Coyote with the VMP Odin first in the world combination on my 2019 Mustang GT. But what happened to the car? Because I left you guys hanging for about a week. Well, to be honest with you, I just kind of put uh, YouTube on the back burner. I wanted to make sure the car was right because for about six months or so, if you guys remember, the car sat without an engine, without a transmission. You know, it was torn apart. You know, there's a lot of things going on. It's really cool to be able to put it back together with my own hands and with the help of a few once we got our, our once we took redelivery of it from the other shop. So basically, before I put the car on camera, I wanted to make sure that everything was good to go. I wanted to make sure the car was 100% hundred percent before I showed it to you on camera yeah, but you guys here it is Here it is, our RPG built 5.2 2019 Mustang GT with the VMP Odin. Guys, it is alive. It is alive and it is perfect. This car has never ever in its life been as good as it is right now. I do want to spend a little bit of time talking about what happened to the car, what we've changed, uh, the ins and outs, the interior, the exterior, the things that you can't see under the hood. You know, I think it's important that we do tell the story about what has changed with the car. So. Here we go. Hope you enjoy. So I'm sorry I left you guys hanging for about a week and a half, but I uh, just wanted to make sure the car was completely ready to go before I put it on a camera. You know, I didn't want to make a uh, fortune of videos, you know, like rebuilding this, rebuilding that, you know, so that's kind of where we're at right now. We got the nice new VF5 wheels from Velgen. They absolutely set this car off as a, a daily driving wheel. I love them. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about them? These are finished in a satin black. Chose to go satin because it catches the light a little different than like a gloss. Gloss can kind of, kind of sometimes be a little too dark, but you can still see a lot of the spoke. And it's just a little bit different. Uh, we went back to our factory hood. We did have it striped. I pulled the stripes off. But uh, let me know again what you think about all of this stuff in the comments because you know we're obviously not done with mods there's more back in the garage custom made 5.2 emblems there i will link all of this stuff down in the video description if you want something like this made but really good job from the badge king so check them out on facebook but highly recommend them man so going around the car of course you know we got it cleaned up but we leave we leave our trademark rubber all over the <laughs> the back bumpers it's been there for a long time so got the parachute off I just wanted to put the car back to stock and enjoy it for a little while. So yes, we're going to race this car as we put the brake in miles on it and uh, you know eventually start turning it up and you know telling the story. But for now, this is the way it looks and I honestly love it. Tags are out of date because it sat uh, with like no engine transmission forever. Corsa exhaust. This is the extreme with the lethal performance made by Corsa double H pipe. We have uh, catalyst headers on the car. Um, what else have we got going on exterior wise? I think that is about it. Uh, may do something with the front end. I'm not sure yet. Let me know. But uh, yeah, you can see a little bit of intercooler poking through there. So something to open up the uh, open up the grill a little bit more. Maybe I don't know. Maybe just leave it because it looks kind of like a normal GT almost. You could roll up to this and never know what's under the hood, what kind of power this is capable of. So let's check out the interior real fast. Show you what we changed. Here's the fuel system from Lethal Performance Prime up. It's pretty sweet. Sounds like a jet. Um, tough skins. 
check them out again links down in description for some of these like carbon fiber little additions they sent it to me and uh decided to go ahead and throw them on i mean they're easy enough to apply pretty sweet they're actual carbon fiber you know really nice Got some nice additions there looks really good on the uh interior here i do want to replace this with like carbon i'm just trying to decide uh you know what company to go with and everything this company does not make these unfortunately so i just need to hunt one down and figure it out but uh may do something with the steering wheel guys we're just trying to give the car a little bit of love you know uh it's been torn apart a couple of times as you guys know so we just want to give the car a little bit of love and uh some good treatment here and bring it back to life a little bit but man it's really coming together you know a lot of these things were happening off camera again i wanted to just get the car to a point where i thought that uh, it was going to be showcase ready for you guys on video and i think that we are there so again throughout the video as you see things again we're about to jump to the goodies under the hood and in the trunk show you what we got going on man i gotta find a new spot this is really uh this used to be like the best kept secret to come out here and film, but no, I guess not anymore. So let's pop the hood, show you what's underneath, and I think you're going to like it. It is hot today. Need to get some hood struts. All right, there we go. VMP Odin. This is kind of the new hotness next to like a Whipple or, you know, some of the other brands. Yeah, Whipple was like, I think like 23 plus weeks out when I was ordering this and honestly VMP has an excellent track record that's why I decided to go with them it's a little bit different because let's be honest if I just did a Whipple supercharger on this yes it would perform but it's been done over and over and over again the VMP Odin especially in an engine like this is very new and kind of a cool combination that is ultimately why i decided to go this route so if anybody thinks we're going to run into like any heat issues because it is a tvs blower 265 rotor pack well um yes we have an answer for that and that lives in the trunk so check this out all right got an ice tank this is a pnr welding ice tank seven gallon return style kind of like the fuel system so this is the biggest pump that they make i reached out to lethal performance and i said well, hey what do you guys running eights on just sell me that and this is what they provided me so really cool this is also their new box that uh works with the fuel system completely redid all of the wiring in the car and this is what replaced it and it works great really plug and play huge shout out to everybody that's had their hands helping me build this thing into the monster that it is now but yeah i'm, I'm super excited so uh iats have already been really good even with no ice on the street and you know 90 degree weather so so we got some love from jlt we got their catch can here cover and we also got this piece back here just makes things look a little bit better i even went through the entire engine bay with like a touch-up pin fixing all the like paint chips and stuff like that that you know because this car has been this is a third engine <laughs> so hopefully this would be the last one too p odin to me is fantastic looking it's it's very appealing to look at the whipple is too but the vmp odin for me gets it done try to mount everything in such a way that you know it would all be serviceable you know easy to get to like any fuses that we need to get to of course we got our lethal return stall fuel system that can feed probably 1500 plus horsepower really really am digging the way that this engine bay has come to life very clean this entire build has uh become very clean that's kind of what i wanted from day one was a blower car yes we did a twin turbo thing for a while video coming up on that and why we don't have them so on and so forth but uh what i wanted from day one honestly was a blower car with like an ice tank you know some nice wheels and we got our drag pack back in the garage you know something that we could take to the shows and that we could also put on the racetrack and go fast with and i think that we have accomplished that uh 10 times over at this point but i'm i'm honestly just super impressed with how the car has turned out now something else too i don't know if we can pick it up on camera let me get a good angle for you guys if you don't know and there you see some of the red down there 
and you got some of the new motor mount brackets there all that from bmr that is the new k member the street strip version uh from bmr and i made a whole video on it so it allows you to use the factory motor mounts if you want to or you can upgrade to the stiffer polyurethane i'm on the factory motor mounts and i'm gonna tell you something next to the drag version which is what we used to have there's a night and day difference in feel it also allows you to retain the factory sway bar if you want to i actually have the front sway bar back in the car i wanted to feel the difference and see what it was like with the factory sway bar back in see how it performed with the new k member that way i could be honest with you guys if there was a problem with it if it acted a, a certain way you know i could translate that on camera uh to, to to bring it to your attention but honestly i mean it's been it feels like factory by the way we're sitting on BMR Performance fronts with their drag rear, and this is the stance on 20 inch wheels. I love it, man. Uh, that is as perfect as I could ever imagine. So I gotta get out, son. It's extremely hot out here today. But one last thing to tell you before we either make this a part two video or continue on, I gotta go and look at the edit and see what we've got here because yes, this might be a 20 minute <laughs> walking around video, but there's so much that's changed with the car. I wanna be able to showcase and be able to tell the story like I was saying, but we also are on a different tune. We have a completely different tuner. Everything that I have seen Daryl Winger touch, Winger Performance, again, I'll link it down below, has has been well in my neck of the woods he's already a legend and so if you explore his name across the internet at this point he's really making a name for himself he is going to be the next big dog as far as coyote tuning you bet your butt you bet your butt drivability has been flawless now we're still doing some data logging and tweaking things but um i've only had like two revisions and short-term fuel trims are like you know negative one two one negative two i mean an idle that's that's perfect a wide open throttle we're getting there but everything has been just perfect and uh, yeah, the way the transmission shifts, it's money. Keep in mind, guys, I've been in cars tuned by all of the big tuners, okay? And the way, I don't want to insult anybody, but I do want to say that this new tuner is exceeding my expectations. Seriously. And uh, I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm not getting any, you know, I'm not getting any kind of special love, nothing like that. Um, there's a lot of money that has gone into this rebuild of this car and uh, if something is wrong or messed up or needs to be improved upon I'm going to let you know because that's something I, I want the car to be the way that I originally always wanted it okay so the time for being the time for being PR friendly is over at this point so you're either with me or you're not and I can tell you that this new tuner, Daryl Wingard, is uh, is on it, man. Definitely appreciate helping out companies that uh, you know deserve it. So, all right. So I think what I'm gonna actually do is just leave this video all alone as one and do a driving review for you guys in the next one. So hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss that content. 5.2 with a VMP Odin. Not been done yet except for now. This is the new beginning. This is the red coin. If you guys do not know, here she sits in all of her glory. Ooh, I'm getting attacked by a bug. Getting attacked. <laughs> uh, there's the update, guys. Hopefully, you like the build and the progression that we have with it so far. So excited to be able to take you along with me on this journey, this new beginning. And, man. Man, man, man. It looks so good. Let me, pop, let me close the hood and give you one last look around because it just the way the way the car looks now that it, it looks so clean hopefully it's coming off on camera you know exactly like it is to the naked eye here but man the way it looks is so aggressive 
the stance is absolutely perfect. Uh, pretty much everything you see on the car, guys, links down below in the description for discount codes. As always, at a loss for words how good this actually looks. There's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, again, like always, like I said, subscribe because lots more content to come and more modifications in the garage are right now ready to go, ready to be installed. I think that you're not going to want to miss, but get ready for the tons and tons and tons of videos to come following this new chapter, this new build, this new progression. I wanted to also say that I appreciate everybody out there watching. Until next video, stay safe, take care, God bless you. Bye.